Hey y'all, what's up? <laughs> well, I decided I had a couple packs of deer meat falling off. I want to eat some of it. And the rest, I want to cut it up and make some jerky with. But when I get ready to do that, I'll show you one way I make it. This isn't my regular way I do it. Normally I do it over a fire and smoke it with green apple wood. I want to try it for the very first time. I never tried liquid smoke before, but I want to try it this time and see how it works. Uh, I got a bunch of seasonings I use. I thought I grabbed onion powder, but I got chopped onion instead. That's fine. I got some stashed. Cayenne pepper, garlic and pepper, garlic powder, and crushed red pepper. Because I like my jerky a little spicy a little hot I wanted uh, some Lee and Perrins Lee and Perrins I had to go with the store brand Worcestershire and some soy sauce I do a 50-50 on that usually and then I stopped at the dollar store or the thrift store and scored these stainless steel bowls 50 cents a piece and a new killer butcher knife for 50 cents. Tang the whole way through it. I, it needs sharpened up. I want to sharpen that up here as soon as I shut this off. I'm using two different cameras. I want to record the same thing with the other camera next. Okay, guys, I'll show you what I'm doing. All the leaner pieces I've been I'm slicing up. They're going into the marinade bowl. The fattier pieces going into the skillet. Probably make a stew out of that. All the junky pieces are going in the junk bowl. Most of this is going to be stew meat. I'm probably only going to get a couple nice slices for jerky, but I've still got a whole bag left. I grabbed the wrong two bags out of the freezer. <laughs> so it's, I'm going to have to work with this and uh, I'll be back when I start to make okay guys this is hard to do filming two versions some scenes I'm not going to be able to get in the same version but whichever one comes out I'll tell you which camera it's on this is from my GoPro knockoff that's why I have two bowls of spices here I want one's for the other camera but I put all the dry spices like the garlic powder meat tenderizer crushed red pepper garlic and pepper cayenne pepper chopped dried onion and next I want to add the liquids oh and I also put uh, black pepper no salt because there's plenty of salt in them spices and the liquids so I'll be back after I put the liquids on and show you a secret little trick I do okay guys I mix the liquids up I use about a quarter cup of uh, War Worcestershire quarter cup of soy and a tablespoon or two of liquid smoke with the dry mix now what I want to do, this is a secret, put it on a burner, just let it get warm, not even hot, just warm. When this top gets warm, take it off, and then I'll dump it over the meat, and let that cool. Okay, now that's getting warm. I'm going to dump it. I stirred it up really good. All make made sure everything was dissolved. Now it's all all going into meat. You want to make sure you have enough to cover all the meat. I'll rinse the rest of that out with a little more one of the sauces. Then. Put it in the fridge, let it sit overnight. That's what I want to do. 
Well, these have been marinating almost 12 hours now. Usually I let them go a little longer. I added more a couple hours after I did these, so these are a little less marinated. But I want to get these done, so what I want to do is start grabbing them. I want to try to put the bigger pieces on the bottom rack. I got a strainer underneath. Put the bigger pieces on the bottom, thicker ones. And uh, I got four racks. And it's going to take a while. Uh, there's some pretty nice pieces here. Oh, these are going to be good. I'm telling you. Anyway, after I get all these done, I'll be back. One thing I forgot to mention, I want to add a little black pepper over. Once they're on a tray, just give a little dusting of black pepper. That's all they need. Try to keep the thicker ones for on the bottom trays, but while they're dehydrating, I'll rotate them, obviously. See, that tray's ready to go. Set it right there. I may have more than I can fit. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, I won't be back until I'm um, done and all the trays are loaded. Well, guys, trays are all loaded up. I have them sitting in the sink over a strainer, uh, over paper tiles. Let the excess moisture kind of drip off for a while, about an hour. Because I don't want the bottom of my dehydrator to get messed up. My kitchen's a mess now. All the extra marinade I put to save because to, after these are done, I'm going to use the same marinade to do the rest of my deer meat and <coughs> excuse me, a chunk of roast beef. But while I'm at it, I want to give a couple shout outs. One to Robert Chilling Outdoors. I won't try to pronounce your last name, Robert Agri, A-G-R-I, Chilling Outdoors. You got, you got to check his channel out. He's got some great videos, man. Outdoors, on, out in the water, fishing on the ocean. Uh, My Skies 5D. He does a lot of good videos filming the sky. Catching a lot of strange stuff, anomalies, and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, my friend Kay Arth, need to check her out and hear her story. What she's been through. She had an interview with Megs um, and Ramola. I forget her last name. But uh, check out Kay Arth. Uh, her story is amazing and it's true and it's um, scary. It's really happening. Things going on. And my buddy Rob Painless down in, I think he's in Texas. <laughs> Old redneck. <laughs> I love Rob the pieces, man. And uh, of course, Megs. Megs B. She does a lot of interviews, very intelligent girl. But uh check all them channels out man. 69 Goat, uh King of East Side Cleveland, another one. That's all I can remember off the top of my head. I got over five hundred subs, I can't remember everybody's name off the top of my head. But anyway, getting back to this. I want to let this sit for about an hour and some of that 
some of the juice to run down before I put in the dehydrator. And about two hours from now, this whole apartment building, all eight floors, is going to smell this. <laughs> People will be knocking on my door saying, man, what are you cooking? <laughs> anyway, uh, when, I, when I come back, it'll be the last clip when this is done, finally. Sorry for the way I have to put this together. I don't have a video editor, so I have to do it in like chapters, screencast it, and then re-record re it all together. So, apologize for that, but... Yep, that's it. Um, I'll get back when these are all turned into pieces of heaven. Jerky. <laughs> Later. Okay, guys. I think it's done. It's been in here for... <coughs> excuse me. 12 hours. I started it at 150 degrees for about two hours then I kicked it down to 120 for 10 hours I let it drain in my sink all the excess out for like uh, three hours I already tasted it it's great oh boy does it look good too I don't know if you can Pretty spicy. A lot of that will fall off after I get in the bag. Wow, some of the hot pepper, the pepper flakes stuck to it. I'm glad I added to it because I still had room left. I use probably, oh, I don't know. They say it takes four pounds of meat to make one pound of jerky. That's dried good, but it's still flexible. And uh, let me tell you something. It's delicious. It is spicy hot. Oh my goodness. Yeah, sticking it. Something else I wanted to tell you. I just want to get this done so I can post it. But, you can see how I have them split. These are the smaller pieces because I rotated the trays. I have plenty of room left, but uh, there you go. I mean, my normal way would to do the same, mar marinate it the same way, but use a little bit better ingredients. There's a hair, um, and I'd hang it over a green apple wood fire, smoke it with a green apple wood smoke. I mean. And when I say green apple wood, I don't mean, I mean a green tree, yeah, the wood green so it will smoke, but I mean from a crab apple tree, those little green apples, I'll tell you what, that gives it the best flavor ever. There's a long story I could tell you about this that made my jerky famous on the East Coast, but that's, it's too long for this video, so. I'm going to wrap it up now. Say so y'all have a good one, man. Peace out. Have a great Saturday. Great tomorrow. Um, stay cool. And thank you.